Hey folks, uh, we're back in an all tier 8 match and we are on Westfield. We are in our Tiger 2 and uh, there's a spare, fair spit of uh, heavy tanks. So um, should be a good fight on heavy side here. And uh, looks like our Byzantes are following us as well as our T-56. And spoiler alert, the T-56 is going to have a heck of a game as well he should. That thing is overpowered to the max so so we're gonna talk uh you know skill calls this you push you lose and i would tend to agree with that except in select situations and we are going to be able to push a little bit uh and you're gonna see why you notice there's a t44 an fcm 50t and um a uh, scorpion g in the middle and I don't know what our VTU is thinking, but for some reason he pushes out, and as do we, and we do not trade well. We're able to take a shot on that on that FCM, but uh, I guess I gave my track to the Scorpion G, and that's the end of that. Lost some health, but it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna fight the fight, so. We're able to hit the uh, Emil and the Emil. I don't know where he hit us, to be honest. But uh, he hit us on the way up the hill, a snapshot. So, um, anyway, regardless, we've lost a lot of our health. So now we got to play smart. And we're able to load the gold rounds. We're going to load gold rounds for this VK. And, you know, this VK, it's great. It's a great tank until people load gold. And that is the major issue with it. So, we're just trying to get a nice shot onto that guy. Unfortunately, we do not get any more shots. Now, the gold rounds on this, I don't know if I said 285 pen on a tier 8. That is crazy. So that's one of the things that makes this a very good tank. And, you know, as I've said before, the turret's not too bad. People load gold, they can pen it, but they do have to aim. So, so I know this a mills up here, but um, I kind of want to push back and get into this location up here. And we do take a shot of damage for it, but uh, nevertheless, we're able to get in position. I don't know why this guy <laughs> is in the T-44 is challenging us, but uh, regardless, we're going to take him out and we're back to standard rounds now because we don't need gold rounds for these mediums. So it's kind of a lesson in in how ineffective mediums are at bouncing damage. Although this, this Pershing is going to do an okay job. So one thing you've noticed, we have not been shot from this from their back hill back here, right? And that's important to note because if you're not getting shot from back there, that means there's no one there to shoot at you. So. Unfortunately, we miss our snapshot on the Pershing. And uh, the Emil is unloading. So we're just going to try and peek out here. We're able to take that guy out with the cupola shot. And things are looking good. So, you know, I have no fear of, of peeking this because there's nothing back there. Their Scorpion G is not back there. Their STRV is not back there. So it's a matter of just... Um, trying to get rid of this Emil. You know, if we can get rid of him, we're good to go. So that's why I'm peeking out there, just trying to get a track shot on him. Although track shots are not, not as sure of a thing as they used to be with the way um, the equipment has gone. A lot of people take the durability. And, you know, I don't really pay attention to hit points. Maybe I should more. But, um, so I don't know who has durability mod and who does not. But I don't have to worry about that because the Skoda T-56 takes him out. We're just trying to side scrape here and see if we see anything. 
and indeed we do. We pick up the Scorpion G that hit us earlier, and it's still a very close game, right? But yet, we have not been hit from anywhere else, so... We're not getting hit from the middle, we're not getting hit from their sniper area, which I'm kind of surprised nobody repositioned. I think I would have if I was in that Scorpion G. But there is a Basante in front of us, and that Basante is um, a scary tank in one sense because he has three shot autoloader, and if I get caught out, I'm definitely dead. So. So I'm kind of waiting for our Passante to push forward, and he does a little bit. And I know that the enemy 53 TP had just fired, so I was not afraid of of shooting at him. So, so we're up to four kills. I didn't even notice it during this game, but we are up to four kills, so... And we try and kipe another one, but that doesn't quite work. Now we've got 300 health, and so I'm willing to kind of take this hit, and I do, in order to get the damage, because it's now 12 to 6. And let's see. There's the 50T, and that puts us up to our sixth kill. So let's fast forward this because I don't think anything else of note happens. And it's always fun to watch a Tiger 2 go really fast, right? Even, even four times speed, it's not very fast. So let's go ahead and look at the after action on this. Well, not a uh, crazy game or anything, but we did get our ace tanker and we also got a top gun out of this game. We were top of the team with uh, 1,359 experience we were second by damage um to the skoda t56 actually yeah barely second by damage and uh we ended up with 15 shots fired 13 hits 10 pens and 1300 assist which probably helped bump us up along with the six kills to uh almost 4000 combined uh, we about broke even on credits and we got 2,000 experience for our crew. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hope to catch you next time. Toaster out.